Hello and welcome back to the Yours and Old Fomoco Iron YouTube channel. My name is Adrian Clements and today in video number 20 we're going to have a close look at a beautiful 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT two-door hardtop. We'll see photos of the car, review a full decode of its VIN and production data, and cover the 1966 Mercury intermediate production numbers. Next, we'll have a look at some press photos, newspaper articles and advertisements, and magazine ads. Finally, we'll see relevant period Fomoco literature and talk a bit about the official pace car for the 1966 Indianapolis 500. Let's get started. This 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT two-door hardtop sold for $27,000 on December 13th, 2019 when it was offered on Bring a Trailer. This car has an attractive body shape and roof line, with the rear window set at a rakish angle sweeping toward the rear end. The paint color here is Cardinal Red, Mercury's marketing name for Ford's Candy Apple Red paint, as both were Fomoco mix code number 2008-A. The lower body black three-strip tape stripe between the wheel cutouts identifies this as a Comet Cyclone GT, confirmed by the Cyclone GT emblem on the leading edge of the front fender. Up front, the radiator grille consists of an upper and lower section between quad stacked headlights, along with a non-functional twin scoop fiberglass hood. The driver's side of the upper radiator grille contains the vehicle line name Comet in block letters, and a similar script appears on the passenger side of the deck lid. The leading edges of both front fenders have a checkered racing flag with a Cyclone GT emblem behind it to expand upon the Cyclone molding located between the taillights. Other than the lower body racing stripe, the fender mounted Cyclone GT emblem is the only external identification to differentiate the Comet Cyclone GT from a base Comet Cyclone. This car features Firestone G7014 red narrow band sidewall tires and chrome styled steel wheels with red mercury center caps. I could find no evidence that the red sidewall tires were a factory option on the 1966 Mercury Comet lineup, but the styled steel wheels did become a regular production option or RPO starting on January 1st, 1966. This car was scheduled to be built in February 1966, so the styled steel wheels could be factory original. Either way, the wheels and tires look great together on this car. The driver door panel with horizontal pleat design and brushed finish insert is correct for the Comet Cyclone and Comet Cyclone GT. The black interior appears to be in original condition with some sun fading evident on the carpet. Up front are bucket seats separated by an asymmetrical design console. The dashboard is a simple design with all instruments and controls located in front of the driver. Black and chrome accents stretch across the entire dashboard, lining up with the horizontal pleats on the door panels. The two-spoke steering wheel has simulated wood tone plastic on the round part facing the driver and color keyed plastic for the spokes and base of the steering wheel. The zero to 6,000 RPM dash pad mounted tachometer was optional equipment on the Comet Cyclone GT, according to the literature. The black factory knob on the shift lever has the correct reverse and down to the left pattern for the top loader four speed manual transmission when installed in a 1966 Fomoco Intermediate. A Cyclone GT emblem appears on the right hand side of the glove box door to let the passenger know what series of car they were riding in. This is a great view of the entire interior of the 1966 Mercury Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop. The full width rear seat is shown to advantage in this photo. Armrests with built in ashtrays are mounted at each end of the rear seat. The standard engine in the 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT was the S-Code Cyclone GT390V8, 
a 390 cubic inch engine with a four barrel carburetor that developed 335 horsepower at 4,800 RPM and 427 pound force feet of torque at 3,200 RPM with a 10.5 to one compression ratio. That big FE engine is a bit of a tight fit between the shock towers and the 66 Comet's engine compartment. The chrome open element air cleaner lid, valve covers, oil filler cap, and oil level dipstick handle were standard equipment on the Cyclone GT390 V8 engine. Please note that the blue paint on this engine is too light in color. The trunk is spacious with 17.0 cubic feet of luggage space, though it does appear to be somewhat shallow in depth. The door data plate tells us that this car has the following VIN and production data. VIN 6J26S512013, body 63H, color T, trim 86, date 10B, DSO 52, axle 4, and trans 5. The VIN of 6J26S512013 decodes as follows. 6 is the model year code, which is 1966. J is the build plant code, which is the Los Angeles assembly plant in Pico Rivera, California. 26 is the body serial code, which is a Mercury Comet Cyclone GT two-door hardtop with front bucket seats and is one of 13,812 produced during the 1966 model year. S is the engine code, which is a Cyclone GT 390 V8, a 390 cubic inch engine with a Holley 4150 four barrel carburetor that developed 335 horsepower at 4,800 RPM and 427 pound force feet of torque at 3,200 RPM with a 10.5 to one compression ratio. 512013 is the consecutive unit number or CUN, which is the 12,013th Mercury car scheduled to be built at the Los Angeles assembly plant during the 1966 model year, where job one was CUN 500001. The production data of 63H, T, 86, 10B, 52, 4, and 5 decode as follows. Body 63H is the body style code, which is a Mercury Comet Cyclone GT two-door hardtop with front bucket seats and is one of 13,812 produced during the 1966 model year. Color T is the exterior paint color code, which is Cardinal Red, Fomoco mix code 200-A. Trim 86 is the interior trim color, material, and front seat style code, which is black crinkle grain vinyl cushions, bolsters, and back bucket seats. Date 10B is the scheduled build date code, which is Thursday, February 10th, 1966. DSO 52 is the district sales office code, which means that this car was originally ordered through a dealership in the Mercury and Lincoln sales district based in Los Angeles, California. Axle four is the rear axle ratio type and ring gear diameter code, which is a 3.25 to one non-locking unit with a nine inch diameter ring gear. Trans five is the transmission type and shift location code which is a top loader four speed manual console shift. I put together this 1966 Mercury Intermediate production numbers table to summarize Ford Motor Company's official production numbers for this vehicle line. The total model year production came in at 170,426 units, which was a 3.3% increase from 1965's Mercury Comet production run of 165,052 units. While this may seem like a modest increase for such an improvement in the Comet's styling and available equipment and features, 
The fact that Comet production increased 3.3% at the same time that the vehicle line shifted shifted from a compact in 1965 to an intermediate in 1966 is actually excellent. This part of the table is for the Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop featured in this video, showing that body serial code 26 and body style code 63H saw 13,812 units produced during the 1966 model year. These Fomoco press photos of a 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop show its beautiful lines from a few different angles. The twin scoop fiberglass hood, white dual upper body paint stripes, white three strip lower body tape stripes, and 7.75 by 14 white sidewall nylon tires were all standard equipment on the Comet Cyclone GT. The only optional equipment on the car pictured are the Cyclone wheel covers, Fomoco part number C6GY-1130-B. There is no radio antenna and even the windshield is untinted. The paint and tape stripes on the press photo car are white to match the car's interior. The tape stripes on the feature car are black to match the interior, but please note that it should also have black dual upper body paint stripes, but they're missing. The 1966 Mercury Intermediate lineup was introduced to the public on Friday, October 1st, 1965. These newspaper articles appeared in the eight days before the introduction and informed readers about the new, totally redesigned Comet lineup. The wheelbase was increased 2 inches to 116 inches, and the overall length of the non-Comet 202 series and non-station wagons increased by almost 8 inches to 203 inches, or 16 feet 11 inches, compared with the 1965 Comet. There was 3 inches more interior width in the 66 Comet, and the front and rear wheel tread were both 58 inches, up 3 inches in the front and 2 inches in the rear compared with the 65s. The Comet Cyclone series added a convertible to join the Tudor hardtop, and a new special high-performance GT option turned the Comet Cyclone into the Comet Cyclone GT. Standard in the Comet Cyclone GT was the 335 horsepower Cyclone 390 GT V8 engine. The completely redesigned 1966 Mercury Comet lineup was now an intermediate instead of a compact size car. This ad appeared in the Detroit Free Press newspaper on Friday, October 1st, 1965, introduction day for the 1966 Mercury Comet line. The car shown atop is a Comet Cyclone Tudor hardtop and not a Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop, as evidenced by the Cyclone emblem on the front fender instead of Cyclone GT and the Cyclone-specific rocker panel moldings instead of the lower body Comet Cyclone GT racing tape stripes. This magazine ad shows a cardinal red 1966 Mercury Comet Caliente Tudor hardtop with an optional red bucket seat interior with a polar white and black vinyl roof Comet 202 Tudor sedan custom sports coupe with a red interior shown below that. The ad is enticing buyers to purchase a Comet and help Mercury reach the milestone of 2 million Comets sold. This ad shows a Cardinal Red 1966 Comet Cyclone Tudor hardtop with a white interior and optional Cyclone wheel covers. Notice the dual upper white paint stripes that are shared with the Comet Cyclone GT and the rocker panel moldings unique to the Comet Cyclone. This ad features a Cardinal Red 66 Comet Cyclone Tudor hardtop with a white interior and optional Cyclone wheel covers. And here's another ad with a Cardinal Red 66 Comet Cyclone Tudor hardtop with a white interior and optional Cyclone wheel covers. This ad appeared on page 121 of the Ward's 1966 Automotive Yearbook 28th edition. And, you guessed it, yet another Cardinal Red 66 Comet Cyclone Tudor hardtop with a white interior and optional Cyclone wheel covers. This ad is for a 1966 Mercury Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop in Mercury's preferred color scheme. 
This magazine ad shows a 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT convertible in cardinal red and with optional Cyclone wheel covers, though the interior is red instead of white like most of the other cardinal red magazine ad cars. This ad from the May 1966 issue of Motor Trend magazine touts the fact that the 1966 Mercury Comet lineup was named the Performance Car of the Year by Superstock and Drag Illustrated magazine. This is the cover of the 32-page Comet 66 sales catalog for the 1966 Mercury Comet lineup, which features a Comet Cyclone Tudor hardtop and Mercury's favorite color combination. Pages 6 and 7 show a Jamaican yellow Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop with a black bucket seat interior and optional Cyclone wheel covers. Notice that the upper paint stripes and lower GT racing stripes on the car are black to match the interior. Pages 8 and 9 describe the features of the Comet Cyclone GT with cardinal red as the featured exterior color and red as the interior color. This is the cover of the 1966 Mercury product data book that contains detailed information for salesmen of the 1966 Mercury full-size cars and Mercury Comet intermediate lineup. The first page of the 1966 Mercury Comet models and equipment section shows front, driver's side, and rear views of a Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop. Pages 10 and 11 provide detailed information about the Comet Cyclone and Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop and convertible. The top of page 10 shows a Comet Cyclone Tudor hardtop and Comet Cyclone convertible with the twin scoop GT hood, white sidewall tires, and Cyclone wheel covers being optional equipment on these two cars. The bottom of page 10 shows a Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop and Comet Cyclone GT convertible with only the Cyclone wheel cover shown on the hardtop being optional. The deluxe wheel covers shown on the convertible were standard equipment on the Comet Cyclone GT. The left-hand side of page 11 lists the features of the Comet Cyclone, some of which are presented as differences over the Comet Caliente Tudor hardtop and convertible. The right-hand side of page 11 lists the standard equipment included in the 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT option, and below that talks about the special sports shift automatic option. Just a brief side note here that the sport shift Mercomatic three-speed automatic transmission was the precursor to 1967's select shift Mercomatic in Mercury's and select shift cruisomatic in Ford transmissions, where drivers could put the gear selector in D and let the transmission shift automatically itself, or the driver could shift manually from one to two to D, or even just two to D in slippery conditions. This 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT option verbiage struck me as unusual at first glance. Why is Mercury talking about the Comet Cyclone GT being an option on the Comet Cyclone when the Comet Cyclone GT had its own body serial codes and body style codes? Let's dig into this anomaly just for a moment. Page 2 of the 1966 Mercury Comet Models and Equipment section states, A completely new line for 1966, 11 models in 4 series and also lists Cyclone GT option for two-door hardtop and convertible powered by the 335 horsepower Cyclone GT 390 V8. Page 3 talks about 11 all-new models and the GT option available on the Comet Cyclone two-door hardtop and convertible, echoing the information on page 2. This page was inserted at the back of the 1966 Mercury product data book in my Fomoco reference library, having been published in December 1965, about four months after production of the 1966 Mercury Comets began in approximately August 1965. The upper highlighted box states, the following summary lists the changes which have been made in the 1966 Mercury Comet program since the data books were printed. 
Cyclone GT, two-door hardtop and convertible are offered as models instead of options, making a total of 13 models for 1966. Aha! So starting around December 1965, the Comet Cyclone GT, two-door hardtop and convertible were counted as standalone models and not just a GT option on the Comet Cyclone. This means that the Comet Cyclone GT, Tudor hardtop, and convertible models were added to the previous 11 models in the Comet lineup to arrive at a total of 13 models. Page 34 of the 1966 Mercury Comet mechanical section of the 1966 Mercury product data book has detailed information about the Cyclone 390 GT V8 engine that was standard equipment and only available in the Mercury Comet Cyclone GT two-door hardtop and convertible. The 1966 Mercury Color Upholstery Selections book contains samples of the paint colors, interior trims, carpets, vinyl roofs, and convertible tops for the Mercury full-size and Mercury Comet lineups. This book predates the December 1965 announcement where the Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop and convertible became unique models, as the left-hand page for the Comet Cyclone and Comet Cyclone GT interior trims talks about the availability of the extra cost Cyclone GT option in the left-hand green boxes. The right-hand green boxes show that the dual paint stripes and GT lower body stripes for a Comet Cyclone GT with a black vinyl interior, trim code 86, and cardinal red paint, color code T, like the car featured in this video, would be black. The right-hand page for the Comet Cyclone and Comet Cyclone GT interior trims gives a sample of the black crinkle grain vinyl used on the front bucket seats and rear bench seat cushions and bolsters for trim code 86. Harmonizer chart number 36 shows that color code T, cardinal red paint, with trim code 86, black crinkle grain vinyl bucket seats, was a recommended paint and interior color combination on the Comet Cyclone and Comet Cyclone GT models. This is the Cardinal Red Color Code T paint sample from the 1966 Mercury Color Upholstery Selections book. This is the acetate overlay for a 1966 Mercury Comet Tudor hardtop with the Cardinal Red paint sample located underneath it. In this case, the Tudor hardtop is a Comet Caliente as identified by the script on the rear of the quarter panel the plaque at the leading edge of the front fender, and the upper and lower body side moldings. The Lincoln Mercury division of Ford Motor Company put a lot of effort and money into promoting the new 1966 Mercury Comets as being well suited for drag racing. These are a few pages from one of two official Lincoln Mercury publications I have that promote Comet drag racing including the Polar White 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT Tudor Hardtop, sponsored by McCormick Motor Sales out of Mount Kisco, New York, and driven by Alan McCormick, the 18-year-old son of the dealership's owner, George McCormick. This photo is from my Fomoco photo archives and shows the same car with different rear wheels staged on the drag strip for the photo op. Finally, let's touch briefly on the 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT convertibles that were selected for use as the official pace car for the 50th anniversary Indianapolis 500 race held on Memorial Day, Monday, May 30th, 1966. These two magazine advertisements with slightly different text below the images show a cardinal red, color code T, 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT convertible with a white crinkle grain vinyl bucket seat interior with red appointments, trim code H5, wearing Indianapolis 500 official pace car graphics on the body side. Notice that the ads also tout the Performance Car of the Year Award from Superstock and Drag Illustrated magazine. There were allegedly 100 pace cars produced for nationwide sale, 
with 33 of those 100 alleged to have been commissioned as official Indianapolis Motor Speedway parade cars for use in May 1966 by selected individuals. This 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT convertible is one of those 100 pace cars. The car is painted cardinal red and has a white power convertible top with a white crinkle grain vinyl bucket seat interior with red appointments, where the appointments are the dashboard, steering wheel and steering column, sun visors, carpets, seat belts, and convertible top boot. This car has the following VIN and production data. VIN 6H28S582955, body 76H, color T, trim H5, date 08C, DSO 847186, axle blank, trans 4. The six-digit DSO beginning with 84 for Ford Motor Company's home office reserve and the blank axle code could indicate that this car was actually used at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Thank you for watching video number 20. I hope you enjoyed learning all about this 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT Tudor hardtop with VIN 6J26S512013. Please be sure to check out videos number 1 through 19 on my channel for more interesting Fomoco-related content. Please like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. There are lots more videos coming, so subscribe and be notified as I release each new video. If you have any questions or if you have a suggestion for a future video topic, please feel free to email me at adrian.clements at me.com. Yours in Old Fomoco Iron, Adrian.